And I remember telling my mom, I don't want to go on a ride along with, with the dude Dre, yada, yada. And she was like, maybe Dre's exactly who you need to go on a ride along with. This is a woman whose brother, the man that I'm named after, was killed by police officers under suspicious circumstances. So I had to do a whole bunch of soul searching. I think that's what kind of like drew me closer to you mm -hmm. because it's like, damn, like, I feel for him. I tried everything in my power not to do this series. My history is just I have never had a good interaction with a cop in my entire life. Right. And so I, I couldn't see myself playing this dude, Jamel Ram somebody that I vehemently disagree with everything that he stands for, who he is, what he's done. Hey, relax. You know who the fuck we are? Relax. You know who the fuck you talking to? Relax, man. I knew that I was going to have to battle some demons and interact with some people that I thought I would never in a million years be interacting with in, that, in this capacity, and one of them was, was you. At the beginning, I was just like, this bougie guy. <laughs> this guy lives in Hollywood. What is he doing here? You know, he probably gets everything done for him. But I knew you had a job, I had a job, so we ride along and then little by little we started talking. I remember that. Yeah, because I, I remember it being, it was like two hours. And I remember just driving. Yeah, the whole city we yeah, did. Yeah, the whole city. And I remember just seeing you as a cop, you know? But I didn't see you as a man. And then you were telling me about your family and, and, and your background. I said, this is just a dude doing a job. I'm blue all day, you know? But I'm also human, so our common ground where we gonna like hang out is as, two dudes, two humans, not the actor, not the cop. Yeah. You know? Part of what allowed my defense to loosen a bit was seeing how involved you were in the community. People knew you, which means you've been there before. That's my job. But that's a rarity from what I've seen. How do you think that we create more space for stuff like that to happen? You gotta get out of the car. You gotta park somewhere, high five little kids, say hello to the people in the community, because then that's how you start building that trust. The day that really messed with me in a way that nothing has ever messed with me on the set was when he ran up in that house and having to put the gun to that young woman's head. Ah! Get, on the ground. Get on the fucking ground! That's a day that I never want to relive. It felt so real. And I was like, wow. It's a job in which we get to sort of put a jacket on, as I say, and then you take a jacket mm -hmm. off when the role's done. And this is the kind of job where you put that jacket on and you can't take it off. You're left with scars that don't dissolve the way the normal scars of this industry do. I ain't okay, okay, yo. Okay, okay. I, there were nights I didn't sleep. I remember talking to you, there was nights that I would invite you out and you're like, I can't be around people right now. As I got to see what it is developing a character, right? Mm -hmm. I, I understood because you played a menace. And that's what's so tough for me to deal with every single day was the idea that these men have affected this community. I love the city of Baltimore, and these men terrorized the city. Hey, hey, eyes up here. They ruined the profession. So not only did the community suffer, but like the great men and women that do this job are also suffering. Because, you know, you see the uniform and you're like, Psst, you know? It's not training, it's not what you learn in the academy. That is that person behaving as an individual. What was those guys that used to rob the trains back in the day? Some bandits, right? Right, you know? What the fuck you doing, man? Get off me. Kid me? Shut the fuck up. Look, there are gonna be a bunch of people I know who are very close to me who are gonna say, man, I can't believe you sit down with a cop. And there's gonna be people close to you who are gonna say, I can't believe you sit down with a guy who doesn't like cops. But if not us, and if not now, then when, right? Because this is gonna start with a conversation and something like this, right? The terminology that everyone throws out now is bridging the gap. Yeah. That's exactly what we did. It's tough, but let's have a conversation. And in the conversation, that's when we bridge the gap. There's a lot so, more to do, but gotta start somewhere, right? Gotta start somewhere.